In this video, we're going to go over how to use the Pythagorean theorem to find a missing side of a right triangle and how to leave your answer in simplest radical form instead of just rounding it. So I'm going to assume that the right angle is right here. Um, and then I'm going to label my right triangle with the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. It is important to remember that the hypotenuse is across from 90 and it's always c. The other two sides can be A or B. Those are called legs. So I'll just make this one A and I'll make this one B. So I'm gonna set up the Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I always tell my students that it's important to write your formula every time because it helps you to memorize it in the long run. So if I have A squared, I'm solving for X, B is four and C is 12. Now I'm going to simplify, 4 squared is 16, 12 squared is 144. I'm going to take away 16 from both sides and I'm left with 128. Now to get x alone because it's being squared, we're going to square root both sides. Now we could type this into the calculator and get a decimal, excuse all my other stuff, and it gives me 11.3. So if you were doing an assignment where it said to round, you could just simply type it in like that. But this says leave your answer in simplest radical form. And so I'm going to try to reduce the square root of 128 by finding its prime factorization. I'm just breaking it down by things that multiply to be 128. Well, I know it's even number, so it can be divided by 2. 2 times 64 is 128. Bring down my 2. 64 is 8 times 8. If you have a pair of numbers, you can bring them out of the radical because I'm square rooting 64, and the square root of 64 is 8. And so this would be left as x is equal to 8 square root 2. Now, maybe you took a different approach and you didn't um, divide 64 by 8. Let's say you did 2 times 32. A lot of my students prefer to just break things down by 2s, which is totally fine. It just takes longer. That would be 2 times 16, bring down my 2, bring down my 2, bring down my 2. 16 is 4 times 4, you could say 2 times 8. Bring down my 2, bring down my 2, bring down my 2, bring down my 2, 2 times 4. <laughs> and then if I keep going, I have another 2, another 2, another 2, another 2, another 2. And 4 is 2 times 2. Circle your pairs, 1 pair, 2 pairs, 3 pairs. So I have three pairs of two on the outside and one two on the inside, and these three twos multiplied back together would also give me eight square root two. But I found it earlier. Um, if you break things down with bigger numbers, it is not so lengthy, and your prime factorization tree is not so ginormous. But either way, it's the same thing. You can check your prime factorization, or sorry, your simplest form by typing in the original, I shouldn't have deleted that, and your answer, and you get the same decimal value. Okay, here's another one. Number two, we've got some funky stuff going on. I purposely gave you a wild looking one. The side length over here is three root two, but we can still deal with this. Remember for Pythagorean theorem, the side across from 90 is always the hypotenuse. It is always C, so this time we're looking for C. These two can be A or B, does not matter the order. I have A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, and I'm gonna plug in everything where it goes. A is five. B is three root two squared. I'm gonna put it in parentheses since it's got some some fancy stuff going on. That three times the root two, they go together. So I'm gonna put it in parentheses so that when I square it, I don't mess up. And then I'm gonna simplify by just typing this into my calculator. So I have five squared plus parentheses, three root two, also squared. That gives me 43. Mathematically, where this came from is that this is 25 plus three squared is nine times root two squared is two and then this is really 25 plus 18, and then this is really 43, which is what we got in the calculator. So if you wanted to see where that 43 came from, that's what um, the math behind it. All right, so then I'm gonna square root both sides. I have C is equal to the square root of 43, 
and I'm gonna try to simplify the square root of 43, but guess what, womp womp, 43 is a prime number, so we can't simplify it, and so then this would be my final answer. Now, anytime you wanna check um, to make sure that you have it right, you can simply plug back into the Pythagorean theorem and make sure a squared plus b squared is actually equal to c squared. And I hope this video helps.